This is another example about the grating. Okay, so this one is look less familiar, but actually it's the same concept. So we have the grating spacing, we have we have to find the theta. Okay, so the first issue is many students do not understand what is the figure is about. Now you can see in the above figure is a very standard setup of grating and the lower figure is just enlarging the meter rule. Oh, it's just enlarging the meter rule. So it states that it found the image of the LED at different position along the meter rule. So we can find the zero is the center. Okay, that's the position of the LED and the few circle are the images. Okay, so the inner one is the N1, the older one image. So by using tangent, we can find out the theta, the angular position, which is the theta. So the first uh, space is 6.28. And then the second order, similarly, we use this tangent to find out their relative position. And now you should not that there is one row is missing. Okay, so what is it? Uh, because we know to plot a graph with to find the lambda. So what kind of graph, what kind of information we need? Most probably we use the d sine theta to n lambda. So that's why the last row is for d the sine theta. Uh, but the problem is still there. What kind of graph I should draw? If our focus is to use the d sine theta equals to n lambda, then we can try to rearrange the items. Okay, we have to use the concept of y equal to mx plus c. So here, in this case, we can rearrange it so we can find that, okay, the y-axis can be the sine theta. And then the x-axis can be the or the number. Okay, so which are the information that we have in the table. And we can also still think of when we're drawing the, the graph. Okay, then how can we find the lambda? Okay, because usually when we use the graph, that means we are focusing on the slope. Okay, we are focusing on the slope. So here you can see that the slope is actually related to lambda which is our unknown, and the d, which is just the constant. So, we can plot the graph, find the slope, and then calculate the lambda. Okay, so every time when we have to think of this kind of question, we have to try to think, okay, what kind of variables we have, and so what kind of graph we have, which is, which is related to the information that we are looking for. Okay, so we can use the slope. Okay, we can choose uh, two points. Uh, my points may be different from yours, but it's okay. So we can get two points using the y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, then we can find out the slope is 0 0.11. And we know that the slope is actually lambda over d in our case, okay, because we are using the d sine theta equal n lambda equation, and so the d is given in the questions. So that we can find the lambda here.